Josh Halen, Director of Cardiovascular Services at Clarion West. I'm Rebecca Halen, I'm 28 years old. We met in nursing school and... Um, I saw her from across the room. You know, it was... <laughs> I think she chased me down, I don't know. Mm -hmm. she's, she's everything you think of as an amazing mother and wife. She's energetic, she's athletic, she's young, she's smart, she's a nurse as well. Um, it's just an overall amazing person. I have three kids. Um, they're 10, 3, and 18 months. I was crazy busy, um, always um, taking someone somewhere, doing something for someone, but it was good. It was great. I really don't recall the evening at all. I can sort of remember the run that we took that day but I remember nothing past um, going running. She um, just walked into our bathroom and collapsed. Um, you really, I mean, completely unexpected. No signs, no symptoms, just one minute she's saying I love you, the next minute she's down on the floor and basically dead. I had two seconds where I absolutely freaked out. She um, went into ventricular fibrillation, had sudden cardiac arrest. Becky had an episode of what we call sudden cardiac death where all of a sudden at home she had no blood pressure, no pulse, and her heart muscle was just failing to work. And what had actually caused the arrest was a heart arrhythmia. The thing that, uh, that Methodist has that, that is unique in the marketplace is it has a first, you know, first class cardiac care in a full service facility where you have all the, all the um, major specialties and um, the, the groups work together integrating the care and I think that that is something that's unique here at, at, at Methodist Hospital. One of the nice things about being part of the Clarion system and being part of a big network is that you get to utilize those world-class resources, world-class technologies and one of the things that we did is that we started some of the protocols that typically would be done down at Methodist. We did out here where we started cooling her and inducing her into hyperthermia before we even got down to Methodist. The family, I think, was comfortable in the fact that, that everything was responded to quickly and appropriately and that things were explained and that at every step of the way she was receiving the best possible care um, and that's what we strive to do. Assurance to me, just it's a guarantee that you're going to get the best care with the best physicians, the best nurses, um, and then they, they really do back that up. I've come a long way. I've made big strides since it all happened. I could barely even walk, so I was in a wheelchair for a while afterwards. She's truly a, a medical miracle. I mean, I, <clears throat> knowing what happened to her, I, it's hard for me to believe that she's alive, but um, Thankfully, with the technology that we had and, and the people that were taking care of her, she is alive.